My doctor told me, eat whatever you want, like eat more calories, and I was like, girl, say no more. <laughs> Hey babes, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello. My name is Amanda Kate. If you are new here, if you are, don't forget to follow me on here. Follow my socials linked down below. It's actually AK. Also, like and comment this video. Now let's get into it. So I wrote a few things down on my phone if I'm looking down because I just want to make sure I address everything, okay? <laughs> because there's a lot to get to, um, but I will separate this video and make it super, super easy to understand. I feel like I'm crooked. Before we get started, I just want to clear up that this is not necessarily a how-to video because everybody's different and every body is different. And what works for me might not necessarily work for you. And I also don't want to be giving advice out there on how to achieve something that might not work because first of all, I'm not a doctor. Second of all, as I said, everybody's different. And this is just my experience and what has worked for me. I have gotten questions on how I got my body back after a baby. So I am three months postpartum right now. Also, I wanna point out a few things that I did wrong and a few things that um, I don't recommend doing because it can be harmful. I'm gonna preface this with saying that I have had and I still kind of have the trickle effect of it, eating issues. Um, I'm not sure what I can say on YouTube. So eating issues in the past. Being pregnant um, definitely was a struggle mentally regarding eating because no matter what you eat, you are supposed to gain weight. And if you don't, it can be dangerous. And you are told to eat and gain weight. And that is hard when all your life you've been trying to lose weight. It's hard when you have to see the scale and you have to acknowledge how much weight you've gained. So when I first got pregnant, I was about 130, 140 pounds, which was like a normal weight. I wasn't eating as much as I could have been. Um, I wasn't working out enough as I have been in the past. So I was just kind of like living my best life using different substances um i was drinking i was just kind of like partying just living life my eating was pretty good it just wasn't enough calories um and then i was kind of just like cheating on my diet whenever i wanted so that was kind of like what my life looked like at the time so i was 135 140 the doctor gave me the goal my pregnancy goal was to gain 35 to 40 pounds i ended up gaining 50 pounds in pregnancy because about the second or third trimester, I say the second trimester, I started, I didn't have any more nausea, so I started kind of eating whatever I wanted. And then I used that as a freebie. I'm gonna eat whatever I want. I'm gonna do, you know, like healthy for the most part, obviously because I need to feed the baby. So I need the good nutrients, but I will just like eat whatever I want. And not look at the calories that kind of helped my eating issues in one way because i wasn't paying attention to the number all the time um but it got hard because at one point i had to face the fact that i had gained more and my doctor <laughs> i got in one day for an appointment and she was like oh okay well you've gained more than uh we wanted you to gain um so it's just gonna be harder to lose afterwards so <laughs> it's like oh Okay, but as long as the baby is healthy and I'm healthy, I think that that's all that matters. So now I'm back at like my pre-baby weight. Um, I'm about 145, so like five pounds off of when I started. Again, I didn't weigh myself like right before I got pregnant, so it's hard for me to say, but it was between 135 and 140. I was kind of like balancing those numbers. I have just started incorporating workouts, but again, they're not like... I'm not going to the gym every day. They're just like home workouts. Um, I still haven't even renewed my gym membership, like reinstated it. I'm just kind of like, you know, doing squats here and there, doing little lunges at home. So I've been going on walks every day. Other than right now, it's getting like pretty chilly. But when I can, I go for walks every day. So I'm just kind of like getting back into being mobile and doing exercise. So I'm going to be honest. Um, when you are breastfeeding so at the moment i am i'm nursing um you have to eat 
more calories than so let's say i'm making up a number but let's say to just like stay neutral and not lose or gain weight i need to ingest 2000 calories a day when i'm breastfeeding i need to ingest 2500 because you lose weight while breastfeeding so apparently just sitting there doing nothing and breastfeeding you lose an extra 500 calories a day so that's why they say that like if you breastfeed you're gonna lose your weight blah 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 like pregnancy weight just falls off because you're breastfeeding it is true it just kind of like falls off if you don't eat more calories than that so what i had been doing up until i'm gonna say a few weeks ago which ended up biting me in the butt so don't do this this is full transparency i was not eating enough calories and i some days would not eat if i don't eat i don't make milk and my baby doesn't eat so what i had kind of been doing and i didn't even do this consciously i it just kind of like happened just because of my past issues like it just my mind just kind of created this schedule i would eat make milk and then the days that i would have a lot of milk i would pump extra and then i had some extra supply for a few days and then that would give me a few days to eat less or not eat my baby was always fed but i had days that i was able to not eat so what ended up happening though is that my baby was a little bit underweight for her age so it ended up being that the fat content in the milk so she always had food she was eating all day long every hour this baby eats but the fat content because i'm not ingesting enough calories was not high enough so her she wasn't underweight by a lot it was just like point something something pounds like it was very very little but it still affected her so now i've completely switched my diet and i'm going to show you guys what i eat like on a day-to-day -day basis once it impacted her I realized this is a problem and I need to like double down on this. So I will show you guys now what I eat day to day and it has completely changed like even my milk supply. Um, it's changed how I feel like I obviously feel better because I'm eating more and I'm eating more nutritious foods and it's just better all around. My baby's happy. The doctor is happy. Everybody's happy. So the factors obviously age genetics and physical shape before the baby and also how much you exercise how much water you drink that's one big thing is to breastfeed you need to drink like a lot of water so my story since people are asking me personally what i did you guys a little bit about not eating enough but i had an awful birth i have a whole, whole birth story video but i had a emergency c-section and all these complications and i was in the hospital for four days and i couldn't walk for two weeks after because it, the pain was so bad from the incision blah 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 for about two weeks after i gave birth i could barely walk like it for the first week i couldn't and i wasn't allowed to lift anything i was barely allowed to lift the baby i couldn't drive for all these weeks i was couch ridden so i would sleep on the couch sitting up it was awful i almost dropped my phone during that time um and keep in mind my partner is working so we had our moms kind of like switch around and stay here for a few days at a time when the baby was first born which was nice you know they would like feed me here and there but i was not even in the mood to eat like i was just not having it and then now my doctor told me eat whatever you want like eat more calories and i was like girl say no more <laughs> now um, i'm gonna speak on what is going on in the present time so i'm lucky that my boyfriend is like a chef and he cooks these delicious meals for me i'm gonna assume that whoever's watching this and wants tips or whatever is doing this alone because during the times like other than the first two weeks when i couldn't walk and my our, our moms were here after that my partners at work we're not like meal prepping we're not doing any of those things we're just kind of like ordering food here and there and i'm alone with the baby during the day kind of just munching on whatever i can find i don't cook i don't like to cook i can i can cook if i have to but i hate it <laughs> and i eat very bland plain foods it's like chicken thighs with like a bit of garlic and salt maybe <laughs> um plain spring mix with some vegetables no dressing and basmati rice like that was my meal and that is taking into account that i can physically make it while taking care of a baby so logistically it's hard 
and I don't like to cook. So that's also why I wasn't eating. Now my boyfriend meal preps for me. So that is like a big, big game changer. So obviously you can do this alone. You can have someone else do it or there's meal plan or meal prep services out there that will deliver to your house. I think that this is key because logistically to be holding the baby and you're hungry and you have to now chop vegetables and cook them and stuff it's just not always realistic so sometimes even if i had the intention of eating that day my boyfriend would come home and i hadn't had time to eat just the the reality of being a mom at home we have the fridge stocked up now so there's meals there's um cut up vegetables already the fruit is already pre-washed it's ready to go meal prep i'm telling you guys is amazing so now let's get into like my day-to-day -day, uh what i eat day-to-day -day. So i always start my morning off with a coffee during pregnancy i had a decaf pregnancy so i had no caffeine i would eat chocolate but i'm talking like actual caffeine from coffee that lasted until the day after i gave birth i had an ice cap which was my craving through pregnancy so i had that and then i didn't do any caffeine for like the first two weeks or so maybe like one coffee here and there but now every day i have one coffee and if i have more during the day they are all decaf i drink my coffee black i just that's just what i like so that also has no calories. I always eat breakfast. So that is a big difference than what used to happen. I used to just do intermittent fasting, which I used to do before I had the baby. So I was kind of used to that. But now I always force myself to eat breakfast. Breakfast looks different. Some days they are overnight oats and they don't look super appetizing depending on what flavor they are, but it's just basically oats, seeds. So we put chia seeds, hemp seeds, uh, pumpkin seeds, um, whatever seeds that we have basically we just kind of like throw them in there sometimes i add chocolate chips um if it's vanilla i just put like some vanilla extract or if it's um chocolate which is my favorite i add cocoa powder i add um coconut shredding sometimes i just kind of like throw all that in together and then either skim milk or um, almond chocolate almond milk find recipes from pinterest like it's just Kind of like a mix of ingredients put them in the fridge overnight and it's ready in the morning no cooking nothing necessary so that's what i like in the morning if i don't have that i'll have a muffin or a banana or a muffin and a banana or a clementine i just kind of like switch it up so something healthy in the morning sometimes carbs um usually fruit because I love sweet things. For lunch, I will usually have a salad. So either chicken or steak salad. I'll make chicken thighs or chicken breasts, pop them in the oven for 20, 30 minutes and even make them like a few days before. And then I add some spring mix. So usually I get the like half spring mix, half spinach or kale and spinach something with like a lot of green vegetables for that extra iron that is also interchangeable with my supper so my supper will look a, lo a little different because my boyfriend comes home and he likes to cook something so he'll cook steak sometimes like an actual piece of steak um with like either potatoes or last night it was pasta with meatballs um with brussels sprouts like it, it kind of just like varies so supper is kind of the same me like it looks the same as the lunch meal um just slightly different so anything that's like healthy we'll have salmon and in between meals i'll have snacks because i need to eat more calories so it's a good way to intake and also it's just nice to snack on things during the day so i'll often have an apple with peanut butter i'll have um raw almonds so just like a handful of almonds they don't really taste like anything they're pretty bland but they do fill you up and then lots of water as i mentioned just kind of like whatever you can have carrots and hummus that's a good one um or peppers and hummus personally i love hummus and also it's extra protein so kind of like those healthy snack options evening my favorite 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 thing to eat at night is a big bowl of fruit because i crave chocolate um i crave sweets all the time so fruit obviously is very sweet either eat a big bowl of fruit or to add extra protein and just extra consistency and it's fun it's more fun to eat i will put some greek yogurt so i use the plain greek yogurt which is like not flavored or anything and that's extra protein 
and I'll just pop that over the fruit, put some oats sometimes, put some chocolate chips, just kind of like make it like a little fun dessert. So that is what my day looks like food wise. I mentioned I'm just getting back into working out. So other than that, there's not much else that I have been doing. I tried to put on my waist trainer the other day that I had pre-pregnancy and it just fit. So I might start waist training again. I'm not sure the science behind waist training, if it's actually like working. Personally, I always had a small waist and really big hips. So I don't know if it's because of waist training that it's stayed like that or what, but I'm built like that. My mom is built like that. So that aspect is likely genetics. I know that you can kind of like build your body through the gym. So if you're a gym person, good on you. I am going to start doing that again because I really miss it. And I just feel a lot better after. So that is kind of like what my life is looking like right now, diet and workout wise. And I also use a um, food tracking app. So I'm not even going to mention which one because this video is not sponsored. This is just me chatting away. But there's a lot of like food tracking apps out there. And I try my hardest now to not look at the calorie number. I'm looking at just tracking the food just to be conscious of what i ate and i weigh myself every day just to stay on track that is pretty much it <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know if you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions or comments down below don't forget to like subscribe i also have my amazon storefront linked down below i'll see you guys in the next video bye